Hello Leo, welcome to Monarch Intuition and today I'm going to be doing your December 2022 monthly check-in reading for you. So if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is I like to pull one major arcana to see the energy and then clarify with a different deck. So what's going on for the sign of Leo? What do we need to know for you? We have the temperance, so divine timing, divine alchemy. Things happen at the right moment right here. So I kind of feel like what you need to do is you need to take a step back, okay? and analyze your life. What has led you up to this moment? Decisions, choices, whatever has happened, pay attention to all of that because you are where you are supposed to be right now with the temperance energy. The temperance is trying to align you with what is going to make you happy as soon as it can alchemize the water into fire because that's what temperance is. It's an angel and it alchemizes the water between the two cups until they ignite. So I know that's kind of like defying logic and defying physics right there, but that is what the angel does. It alchemizes water into fire. If you go and you look at the original artwork for the temperance card, you can see how um, it's standing in water and it's standing on land as well. Now, it's trying to illuminate to you with the third eye because the angel's eyes are closed, but the third eye is illuminating like the broad spectrum of things, the grand picture. Like, why are you here? What's your point? What's your purpose? It's trying to show you these things so that way you say, okay, I'm going to be comfortable where I am. I'm going to understand that it all has a rhyme and a reason behind it. So what's going on with the temperance energy? What do we need to know? We have the Nine of Swords, we have the King of Cups in reverse, and we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So, here's the thing. You have anxiety because you put your faith into King of Cups and Queen of Cups whose cups have poured out. I feel like these people have kind of betrayed you within your life because the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups in reverse, especially when they're coming out like this, represent sirens and like tritons. So a male version of a siren is a triton. Tritons actually came before the female concept of the siren we have now. Sirens originally were called harpies and they were like these really weird demonic bird looking things. So. You have anxiety because you are looking in the wrong places. You're not trusting in the temperance. You're looking at things that have let you down. You're looking at people, places, and things right here. You're saying the king of cups has poured out his cup. The queen has poured out her cups. They're a bunch of evil people. And the temperance is like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you that people are fallible. People are evil. There is a reason that their cups fell out. There's a reason because here's the thing. A lot of people have motives. A lot of people are out there for themselves, right? And that's what you have to understand. I know that you want to go and help people because you are the sign of friendship, but at the end of the day, there are people out there who are just wicked as fuck. Like, that is that is what it is. And I feel like you've put a lot of faith and you've tried to help people who have just kind of like spit on you. And that's the concept of the cups pouring you know, upside down is that maybe you help them a lot within your life and they've just spit on you. So with this Nine of Swords, you are anxious about this. You're anxious that, well, what's going to happen now? What do I have left? What, what can I do? Well, you can trust the angels because the angel is trying to take their cups from them to alchemize something from you or for you. So we have the Nine of Swords, with it, which is Strength, and the Two of Scepters. This is funny because we have Sagittarius energy coming out with the Temperance and we have the Leo energy coming out with the Strength. The Angel of Strength is trying to hold back the mouth of the lion, trying to hold back the beast, right? Because remember, the devil is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Remember, when we look at tarot cards, they are associated to astrology, but what you have to understand is that Leo the Lion was killed, okay? And when we look at um, the Strength card, Strength is actually represented by the angel who shuts the mouth of the lion. So kind of representation of Daniel and the lion's den. The angels come out of nowhere and say, no, that's not going to happen. The angel is trying to illuminate you to a new path. But when the angel of temperance comes out and delivers that for you. With the king of cups right here, what is going on? And I feel like it will be safe. That's the thing is that the angel of temperance has to alchemize a situation that is safe for you so that way you can you know go through this scenario without having all these pitfalls without being surrounded by you know sirens and tritons right here so what's going on with this king of cups energy what do we need to know the emperor and the queen of scepters coming out yeah it's like this is double aries energy 
very heavy Aries energy. I'm going to pull cards for the Queen of Cups before I get into this. I mean, I could explain them. The Emperor is someone who's kind of like a tyrant, especially when he's with the Queen of Scepters with the King of Cups in reverse. This is someone who uses emotional manipulation to get what they want. And they come off as being very beautiful, very attractive and alluring. But once again, that's a Triton, right? Queen of Cups energy, the Six of Grails with the Seven of, seven of Knives. So yeah, sirens and tritons all over the place. These are people who are just in it for themselves. They are trying to backstab you. They are trying to take from you. They are trying to be sweet and nurturing just so they can get one up on you, just so they have control over you with the Queen of Scepters. And that's what you have to understand right here is that not everyone's going to like you. And the people who do, who fawn over you, who try to give you things, what is their motive? What is their ambition? Okay? The temperance is trying to show you that. The temperance is trying to illuminate to you why these things fell apart. And maybe you have had to find out the hard way. Maybe you just had to be like, oh, I understand. So now the temperance angel has to put you back on the right path, has to lead you forward with the two of wands, has to get you the right wand to move forward on the globe. But they have to make sure that things are safe for you. The Four of Cups with the Justice and the Daughter of Knives. Here's the thing though, when it finally does come in, you're going to kind of not want it. I feel like you're going to be a little bit bitter about situations. When it comes in, it's a balanced situation, but you're looking at it like, I don't know if I can trust it. This Daughter of Knives is very skeptical because it's the Page of Swords, right? Very skeptical about things. They've been through a lot, they understand the sword of truth, they wield the sword of truth, but at the same time, they're not understanding the full picture behind it. And that's what you're missing with the temperance angel. The angel is trying to deliver you something that will balance the situation out, but you are skeptical about how this is going to work. I feel like you have a lot of questions behind it. You are questioning, how is this situation going to work out? Do I really want it? Do I really want to trust the universe? Well. Here's the thing, Leo, it kind of looks like that's the only thing you have left is kind of like taking a leap of faith right here because if you have this energy coming out with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups that have fallen out and you have people who have backstabbed you, you have people who have tried to basically sexually manipulate you right here, what else is there except trusting the divine? If you've gone down every single path and you've seen treachery down every single one of these things and your final thing is the angel the thing that you know is not going to hurt you. But you're saying, I'm skeptical about that because I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna trust the universe because maybe you've never witnessed a miracle before. That could be the situation for you, you you've never witnessed a miracle. You have the Lord of Grails coming out upright with the lovers and the hermit. You have to understand, there are people out there who are going to try to manipulate a situation in your favor, okay? Or in their favor. Now this could be a separate King of Cups that is divine connection for you. Maybe that's what the Hermit wants to illuminate to you is that there is a separate King of Cups that is better out there for you. That's not this situation. Maybe that's the problem right here is that you're going to receive something that looks very similar to the last time. And that's what makes you very skeptical about something. Is it the same thing as the old one? Has the Ace of Cups? It looks like it's the same thing. Or maybe the universe is trying to test you one last time. Are you going to take this? Are you going to take this situation? Is it a good situation for Leo to be in? The temperance coming out with the fool. Yeah, it's a good situation. So here's the thing. I'm not saying to go down this old King of Cups route because the King of Cups did come out in reverse. However, there is a situation that's coming up that's very similar to the past. I'm not saying it could be as simple as, you know, you dated someone and then, you know, you broke up with them because they're a piece of junk and then you found out that they have a twin brother and you're dating them or a twin sister. Like that's the situation right there. It like mirrors the situation almost completely, but very different people. Okay. And I feel like that's what you have to pay attention to is that with the justice scales, there is a balance right here. But you have to allow the angel to do its work. You have to allow the angel to tell you when to go.
or it could be a job, you know, I've talked about it before, where you have a job from your past, maybe you were an accountant or something, I always say accountant, but you worked at one firm and then a new firm wants to hire you and they have really good pay, really good benefits, but you're like, I'm going to have to be doing accounting, doing the same type of accounting, working in an office building, but it's a different company altogether, different management, different employees. Like, that's what this is. It's mimicking, but it's different because it's divinely connected to you this time. It could be just as something simple as something as, um, you know, you start dating someone new, but they remind you a lot, like the way that they look of their ex, of your ex. That's what this is. And you're going to be kind of worried about it. It's like, is this a test? Is this what it's supposed to be? I don't feel like this comes with red flags because it's a blank slate with the full energy. It's a brand new opportunity with something brand new. It just looks like something from the past. That's the problem. You have the death card with the ten of cups and the wheel of fortune. A situation has ended. A new situation is about to begin because that's what death means. And the situation will turn around. This situation is going to be very, very beautiful for you, okay? Allow the situation from the past to end and accept the Ten of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. It's just that, once again, this is not going back to your ex, all right? Or going back to an old job or anything like that. This is simply something that reminds you of the past, something that burned you in the past, something that, you know, could have hurt you, something that made you upset. But this is different. It's just mimicking. The Lord of Skulls, the Two of Knives, and the Nine of Cups. What you have to understand about this is I feel like it ha it's more stable. That's the thing is the only way that you're going to move right here is if it can prove to you that it's stable. Otherwise, you're going to sit there and say, no, I'm blocked off to this situation. I don't care if it's a wish come true because you want something that's stable. You don't need a watery platform, okay? You need more like Taurus st stability within your life. You need to know that people are above board, that your efforts and whatever you're going to be doing is not going to go to waste. And that's not the case with the temperance angel, okay? You have the empress coming out with the ten of skulls and you have the daughter of skulls. It's a beautiful situation for you, Leo. It's really good. It's just that it's going to be hard for you to trust a miracle. It's going to be hard for you to trust, you know, prayer, meditation, good vibes. Like, you know, sometimes things happen that you can't feel, that you can't see. You know, that's the situation right there. You have the Empress with the Ten of Skulls, with the Daughter of Skulls, representing a very beautiful life, a very stable, committed life. Something that is going to make you very happy. With the Daughter of Skulls, though, you should appreciate it more, okay? I feel like when it happens, you're going to be like, all this is for me. That's what this is right here. You're going to be kind of wondering about it because the Daughter of Skulls in this deck is, she's kind of bewildered, but at the same time, she's kind of like, Oh, wow. Like, she doesn't have any emotions because she's too shocked to show them, okay? She's kind of, like, in that state of, like, well, I don't really know how to say thank you for all of this. That's what this is. You're not going to know how to say thank you. Do your best. Because it's going to be kind of like a humbling experience. You have the Four of Scepters representing a celebration with the Nine of Knives. You're anxious about it. The Five of Swords. I feel like the reason you're anxious about it is because you're thinking about all the bad stuff you've ever done within your life. And that's really easy to do. Whenever something good happens, you're immediately going to think, what's the catch? I can't have all of this. I'm not a good person. I'm a bad person. Blah, blah, blah. You know, good things happen to bad people. All dogs go to heaven, right? It is what it is. The wheel of fates can change. The wheel of fortune can turn around. But when you receive something, don't think about all the negatives. Be grateful for whatever this is coming into your life. The eight of skulls, you've worked for it. 
The Seven of Grails represents a fantasy. You've moved through fantasy. You've worked. It's kind of like manifestation. The Eight of Skulls with the Seven of Grails. You've worked with the fantasy right here. It's also representing that you put trust into the temperance. You put trust into the divine. Because when we look at the traditional artwork of the Seven of Grails, there is an angel who sits at the top inside of one of the cups. The other six are all fantasy, right? And then there's an angel that sits inside of the, um, the Holy Grail. So you're working with the angel. You're working with the angel who sits in the seventh cup, the one who is the divine angel. So work with that energy. Go with it. That's, that's the hard part. How can you find faith for this? You have the eight of scepters and the two of cups. I feel like something's going to come in that's going to connect you and you're just going to be like very shocked by it. You're going to be like, okay. Okay. It is what it is. I'm going to work with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with the flow. Something comes in that kind of gives you a hint. Not too much, not too little. It's got the two of cups representing, you know, the two of cups with the temperance energy alchemizing the situation. Maybe it's coming in very quickly for you and it allows you to be like, oh, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to work with this energy, not whatever that was in the past. The daughter of cups. I kind of feel like in a way it's going to be small before you know you receive the big thing. Just be grateful. Accept the cup when it comes in understand why you have it don't go thinking about all the bad stuff you've ever done blah 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 you know everyone feels that way everyone's got skeletons in their closet right yeah three of scepters with the three of knives with the five of grails i pulled it underneath the nine of knives with the five of knives what's coming in is that you're going to feel like you don't deserve something right here you're going to feel heartbroken because you have the five of swords with the nine of knives coming out it is a moment where you're going to have to look back on things from your past and reflect on them and understand why things didn't work out for you. That's the thing. You're going to go into deep reflection. You're going to understand why things did not work out for you, why you had to walk away from the three cups, why things just, you know, because once again, the temperance is divine timing. Imagine, you know, a person who's never gambled within their life walking into a casino. They put a dollar bill in, they hit the button, and then they win right? Think of how many people have been through that casino. Think about the algorithm behind it. It's like one to 16,000. And it's not, you know, one person plays and then it's one to 15,999. And then a second person plays and it's uh, two to 15,998. No, it resets. It's always going to be one in 16,000 that you'll win, right? So it doesn't, it's not like, you know, 15,999 people play and then you're the 16,000th person, right? The algorithm is this. You had all these setbacks within your life. You had all these bad things happen. You've had whatever happen. You've trusted wrong people. You've done your best. You've done your worst, whatever. And then when it happens, you're going to be in that shocked moment of the page of pentacles, right? You're going to sit there and think, Oh, wow, if I hadn't lost my keys yesterday and searched the house for 10 minutes, I wouldn't be here right now and getting this. That's the situation. Oh, wow, if I hadn't, uh, you know, locked my keys in the car 10 years ago and had to wait two hours for someone to unlock my car, I would have sped up my timeline. Like, that's what you have to understand about how temperance works. It's not something that's cut and dry. It's all these things, all these people, millions of people, billions of people around the world have to be moving at the same time. And the angel is plucking all of these things, moving you along, okay? No, don't go down that road. Oh, you went down that road. Okay, well, how am I going to get you out of it? And they have to put you back on the right path. But every time you go down a wrong road, you set yourself further and further and further behind, okay? Some people will never actually complete their life goal. But here it is, Leo, you have an opportunity to complete something right here, an actual goal for yourself. Maybe you've never completed a goal. I don't know. And yet it will all, you'll, it'll all make sense to you. You'll have that understanding. The Prince of Cups with the Ace of Wands. And it will give you that drive to move forward, okay? It'll make you move forward in a more trusting state because the Ace of Scepters represents, you know, wands, represents magic. It'll make you trust in magic. Do you believe in magic? Like that song?
what are your spellcasting oracle cards? I know I give that temperance analogy a lot. It's because some people don't, like, they haven't watched, you know, maybe the past 10 videos and they come back and watch. Because YouTube's kind of weird, you know, the notification bell, whatever. I get that analogy so that way people can understand, okay? So that way people can kind of like glean information. Maybe they didn't understand it the first time, maybe I didn't explain it properly. But you have new beginnings with that full energy coming out and you have answers. You're going to have the, ans the answers, right? It will all just... You'll understand why the death card happened. You'll understand why the kings and queens used you to benefit themselves. It looks like it's on a physical realm, but it can also be on a, like a love realm. It's almost, it's a wish. So whatever you're wishing for, love, career, I don't know. You have trick or treat, mischief and play, and apple, risk and reward. Yeah, you take that risk, put in that dollar in that machine. And once again, I don't condone gambling. I don't like to gamble. I don't gamble. Like, I gambled, like, I think a total of $2 in my life. I put one in at one machine, and I hit a button, and I was so shocked. I think I've told this story before, but I put a dollar in a machine once, right? And it was at one of those, like, light up casinos, I don't know what you call them, you sit down, you press the buttons, right? I hit the button, and I was like, okay, so what do I do next? And the person I was with was like, oh, you lost. And I lost in like a fraction of a second. I was like, what do you mean I lost? I just started. I hit the button. They're like, yeah, that's all you had to do is you hit the button. I'm like, I, it just baffled me. And then another time, my friend and I went to a casino. We we're actually there to eat something. And, um, I just put a dollar in because they put a dollar in and, you know, nothing happened. But I was like, I, I just, no. So with this apple risk and reward and this uh, mischief trick or treat, mischief and play, you know, it could be something as fun as that. Just don't get addicted to anything. Don't, you know, put all your money. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't do that, all right? Putting all your eggs in one basket, especially in this economy, is kind of like a really dumb idea. So it's okay to have a risk as long as you have a safety net. You have owl wisdom and you have wolf communication. I feel like someone's going to talk to you. Someone's going to speak to you answers right here. Someone's going to teach you something, possibly. That could be that two of grails with that daughter of grails. Maybe that's what you need to trust in the angels right here. You have the manifestation. Maybe that's what you need to understand manifestation because that's what we were talking about earlier, right? With the eight of pentacles, with the seven of cups, manifestation. So with this manifestation card and this owl wisdom and wolf communication, that could be something, just something small to make you believe, okay? It's like listening to the jingle bell in that um, movie, The Polar Express, right? Be love. And I feel like it helps you, okay? It's something small. Because, you know, it, it's, especially if you didn't grow up in a very magical home or, you know, maybe you just didn't believe in it. Maybe you always had questions. Like, maybe you've always just questioned the universe even when you were younger. Like, people could tell you about Santa Claus and you were just like, because I was one of those people. People would talk to me about Santa Claus. I'm like, I don't believe in Santa. And, um, I don't know. I was just like a miserable skeptic as a five-year-old. So... You have Daga's Day, hope, relief, clarity, understanding, and progress. Yeah, hope, relief, and clarity. You'll understand it. The spiritual meaning is destiny, higher consciousness, and mutability. So let's look at your talisman card. Fehu. Achieve a goal, attract money, succeed in business, attain a promotion, or a new job. Here's the thing. No one can stop it because it is the angel of temperance coming in. I feel like people could try, but at the end of the day... Good triumphs over evil regardless, right? Evil can have its heyday. Even the evil will claim the world one day. That's what the book of Revelation says, right? Evil will take over the world. Good still wins in the end. Like, it, it is what it is. So I don't really think anyone can really put a bump in the road, but possibly. Well, anyway, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll talk to you later.